Hello everyone, Simon here. Welcome back to our Peninsula City build in Minecraft. Today we are gonna get our wood and build some crappy houses, I think. Ah, uh, well crappy is a subjective term. <laughs> They're gonna be wood and uh, that's it. So we're using wood be Oh, there's a chicken in my storage. We're gonna we're gonna use wood because wood is abundant, and it's laying eggs in my storage. And uh, because that's what we have to build with. All right, so let's uh, get our little setup going. As usual, let's get some furniture. And uh, we're gonna get a bunch of logs. So what, what do we have? I suppose I should get the decorative stuff out there too. Let me just uh, grab logs, spruce, jungle, just grab everything. That's a lot of dark oak. So given how much dark oak we have, it looks like it's gonna be mostly dark oak based. And then using the other wood types for ornaments and uh, decoration. So let's set up our base camp here. And we'll chuck all the logs in one box. Jungle, spruce, oak, 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 oak. Spruce is there. Alright, let's just continue getting our stuff. I don't know why they're here. I don't know why they don't stay outside. I thought animals were attracted to grass. I thought they just go wherever the grass is. Grass and light, I thought it was. But, uh, who knows, am I right? A case here. Yeah. Jungle. Dark oak. Uh, let me just come back for those. So, let's try to think of a different construction style for the houses. Uh, we might have a consistent style for the uh, for all the houses, just because they belong in the same sort of like development. So like this, this neighborhood, they belong in the same neighborhood and so maybe they can have the same style. Let's try to think of something that is significantly different from the existing styles. Just because we don't want to repeat the same thing over and over again. And also... We might want to try and like break out of the square grid a little bit. I know it's very hard to break out of the square grid in Minecraft because everything is on the square grid. But you know, like so far everything we've built is on the square grid. You know, this is very square. Uh, let me just take the map too. I like this map, I really do. I look forward to making more maps, and look, we can update the map with the, uh, with the path. I haven't done this in the last video. Let me just walk over there, make sure we update the map with the new stuff we built underneath the Temple of Wind. Alright, so you can see there what is that? There's a bit of yellow there. That's the sand, I suppose. Oh, this is the sand here. That's the yellow bit. So there's a bit of water at that end, and then there's a bit of brown here. This is where the brown path is. It's interesting how when you look at the map, you can see just how big paths end up being compared to uh, the architecture. So if you look at like a real city, if you look at kind of like a satellite maps of a real city, you, you'll see that actually a lot of a city is just roads. Like if you look straight down, like a lot of it is just roads. And uh, it might be surprising to you just how much of a city's surface area is just roads. Anyway, we're going to see that in our city too. So like, you know, imagine like... Uh, so these, are, these aren't really the roads, these are paths, right? This is like a, a 2 meter wide path with 1 meter border on each side. A road, if you like, just look at how, like a, a road that a car travels on, 
it is wide, like it's wider than you imagine. Like if you if you take the time, like take a tape measure, go out to the road, don't get run over. Uh, but if you have a quiet road somewhere nearby, just kind of get a, just try to measure how wide it is. It is big, right? And so, you know, like if you have like one car, and then another another lane for another car. So like a, a real road, if we put it to this scale, a real road would be like from here to here, just for a two lane road, at least. And so you can see like how big the roads are going to be, and then we build the houses, tiny and tiny little houses, and these massive roads. So um yeah, so that's how things are in the real world. All right, so how do we break out of the grid? And how do we make this more interesting? And I think it kind of makes sense to have the road go this way as well. I was thinking like, well, I mean, it'd be more efficient if the road just went like in from here, but it would look better. So as you travel down here, it would look better if you can see the road going along the coast and then have houses facing the coast. It would look better that way. So I'm going to do that, right? So we go... Let's say the road is like uh, four blocks wide. So here, let's do something along these lines. And then Like here, have the have the road follow the coast. Have the road follow the coast. And then, uh, not sure what we do when we get to this point. Also, this thing like it uses shovels way too fast. This uses shovels way too fast. I'm telling you, because if you're farming. It doesn't like it doesn't use the hose this fast. Um, we get to here, and then this gets a bit strange because I also want houses here, but I want them so I want the road to be up here, and then I want the houses to go down. So uh, if you go into Google Image Search and type in Santorini, Santorini. That is a Greek island, quite a famous one. But it's like uh, so there's like buildings on the hillside, is how that works. So it's a it's a relatively small island, and uh, it's got buildings on the hillside like that. Everything's white because uh, the the white reflects heat, and so it it keeps the inside of the building as cool. That's why everything is painted bright white. So if you look at Santorini, it's just a lot of buildings on a steep hillside and I uh, and, and like this kind of terraces and everything so I kind of want something like that although obviously in Minecraft there's not enough space so like narrow streets terraces narrow streets on a terrace and then buildings like underneath and above that would be cool um, except I don't really know how to I want to do that uh, yeah and I want to keep something of a beach. So I guess we keep a bit of beach, and then the buildings... It's going to be complicated. It is going to be complicated. Maybe I should, like, build... Hmm... Yeah... That's going to be complicated. I mean, this sort of thing is best if you let it grow organically. Which is to say, uh, you don't have a plan. <laughs> I've talked about it before. So if you, it's uh, if you don't have a plan, then you say you're growing it organically, or you're letting it develop organically. Um, I think it's better if you let it develop organically, but it's uh, I need to think about what I want to do about this. 
So let's say this particular road comes to here. I guess we can have a staircase down to the beach at this end. So then there we collect buildings back here and maybe another staircase down to the beach. And then maybe like a walk wide. I mean, this is very, very little space here. Look how steep this is. There's really very little space for a walkway along the beach. Um, uh, I'll think about this. I'll think about that. Maybe, maybe next next time. All right. So I guess what we should do is uh, the road should join back to this crossroad here. So let me um, remove these trees because they are kind of in the wrong place I can't believe this works you can just jump continuously and, and get a block that way Alright, so these trees are going to go and this road will come through. So I guess the, uh, so then the other staircase down to the beach would be here. Although is this too, no, this is kind of too early, isn't it? I kind of want the other staircase to the beach here which is a different thing all right well let me just um let's say the road comes this way as well and then we're gonna just join up there from here i suppose so let us step down to here and then start coming across this way. Hmm. I wonder if this is like too close. Right, so the road's gonna do this somehow. Come along here and uh, back here. So then for today, our building site is within this road. So we need to fill in this area here with houses. I don't know if I should take these ferns. Let me just... Because we don't have any ferns. Uh, can you breed ferns? Can you make ferns? I don't think you can, right? Ah, uh, let me harvest some of the fern, just in case we ever want it. Is fern renewable? And if not, why not? Like seriously. So what do I do? Do I like punch it or do I right click? So this this fern stuff. Right, so if I Okay, left click. Left click the ferns. The big ferns become small ferns. Do I want this stuff? I don't even know. I have no idea why I would want this. So if they're not craftable, can I like um, 
fortune? Like, enchant the shears with fortune to get more ferns? How would I... How would I have a renewable supply of fern? Uh, let me go to my Minecraft key. Go to fern. Grass. Tall grass. Bone meal can be used on grass blocks to grow grass. And occasionally flowers. Bone meal can also be used on either tall grass or a fern to create double tall grass or large fern. It doesn't say you can make ferns though. You can, it's, you, can, you can make grass with bone meal. It doesn't say you can make ferns with bone meal. I... I don't know. I uh I don't I don't think ferns drop seeds and broken I have no idea grass and ferns I hmm. so. Fortune. Let me uh, look up fortune. Fortune. For tall grass, each level increases the drop maximum by plus two. Uh, I am not sure. Note 8. Wait, can you put fortune on... You can't put fortune on, on shears. Or you can't put fortune on shears. I have no idea. I, I don't know, and I don't know why Minecraft is this complicated. <laughs> I don't know why it's so complicated to just like answer this question. Can you get ferns? Can you like are ferns renewable? Why is that question so hard to answer? Okay, so what now? And how big should the houses be? The houses should be smaller than this. Houses at maximum 8x8, eight eight, I think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Maybe closer to 6x6. Six six in terms of scale. Uh, uh, do we try to break the... Uh, how would we break out of the square grid? Or do we, do we not bother trying to break out of the square grid? So the road... Let's say the road is 4 blocks wide. They have a gap. And then the house. Too close. Let's pull this back. So the, the house. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's a small house. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, eight, no, seven. And then this, if we say it's like four blocks wide, one, two, three, four, five, leave a gap. Uh, yeah. That house is. It's like it's kind of too close to the road, to be honest. All right, let's make this uh, a bit bigger that way. Push this back by one. To leave some room 
at the road. So we have a house that is this shape. I mean, it's still conforming to the grid on this side. But uh, maybe we're not too concerned about it. Um, and then... I just don't want everything to be square, you know what I mean? <laughs> I, just, I just don't want everything to be square. Uh, one, two, three, four... Or leave a space to the next house. Let's have a three block gap between houses. Ooh, this needs to like stop there. So this one, let's make it an L shape. Eight squares to there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, let's make it bigger. Ten. Again, no, too big. Too big. Uh, nine. So, like here, one, two, three, four. Leave a space. Alright, so then this house, let's say. is like this big and it's an L shape um, slightly odd let's make it an L shape like there alright 